Oh, okay, now I got it. I, I got it, what's going on, okay. At first I, I didn't know what was going on, but I, right now I understand it, how it works. Let me just uh, go get some rogues, viruses, and throw this, uh, this virtual machine. And I'll be right back. I mean, this, this could be part uh, 3, I believe. Sorry, I did not start with that. Okay, I'll be right back. Oh, <clears throat> okay, I'm back. I got some uh, links. <sighs> 6. I hope this is still work because I have not tested tested these out, so I don't want to miss it look, 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 looking like an ass in front of everyone. Link number one. Trojan downloader. Smaller. Yeah, probably that. Probably this one's dead. So this could be link number one. Yep, that one is dead. This was weird. Oh, okay. I get it. It got quarantined, so this is good. Link number two. Copy. Uh, control V. I believe it's. Um, It's an exploit. Looks like a uh, link number two goes through. Pretty much we're screwed. Link number three Cyberfox.com. <laughs> yeah, link number three also goes through. Link number four. It gets cut. So link number three gets cut. Move to quarantine. It's a Zeus. Okay, yeah, they, it, it goes through because if I got this message, it means it went through. Pretty much right now we're screwed. If if we weren't running this program. And what does it recommend? Actually, it does not recommend anything. So probably it's a real, uh, real one. Okay, it's a fake AV. Oops, I'm, uh, please be alive, because we need, we need this one to work. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Hold on. Okay, the reason I paused is because I sneezed. Whew. Oh man, I miss these days. BestAntivirus1.com dot xorg dot pl pl I believe it's Poland. I hope this one goes through. 
If not, this is an amazing product. Okay, it gives me an error message. Hmm. Um, okay, I'm pretty sure this computer is infected. Hold on. Then. Just need one fake AV. When antivirus software ten dot com, I believe it's the same one. Yeah, probably the same one. Uh, I'm pretty sure this computer is infected. Even if I land ran malware by team and pros could be infected. Weird. Hold on, I'll be right. I'll be right back. Okay, this is from Russia. Dead. This one's from New New Zealand, I believe. Okay, this one's still good. That's what I wanted to see. Anti XP anti malware rip. Oh, okay, this one I had real problems with because I had to deal with this one all week long. Man, this was a really nasty one. Hold on. Man. Yeah, I had to deal with this one all week long. All, all my clients had to, uh, were calling me like non stop telling me I had to deal with this product. But. Let's see if we're able to fix it. Usually the XP anti whatever it went through to it went through almost to all like not a single anti virus program is able to block it for some reason. Many many of them like are unable to block it. I mean if you use uh, Melder by him, him in Pro you could it does remove it. But usually like you have to run in safe mode. Because like not a single site works. The best option is probably to use a uh, bootable CD. Dr. Web for also like to use um how's it call it? Not Dr. Web but <sighs> Bit Bitfender, yeah Bitfender. Okay. This computer is not booted the way it was, even with the sunset thing we created before. So this computer is where it's right now it's clean. It's clean, no viruses, nothing. So right now, looks like uh, we're going to wrap this up for today. So again, again this is Ross, the Rogue Software. The webs.com, and next we're going to review um, a really, uh, how you call it? It's a really surprise, really weird antivirus. It's really weird, weird one. 
So again, this is Ross of RogueSoftware.webs.com. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day. And I also want to thank uh, Joe S. Uh, Joe S. for do donating one dollar. So thanks, Joe, and thanks to everyone for watching. I hope you have a great day, and bye bye.